Alright, what up too? Um, coming at you. Um, got some things in the day. Um, I got uh, my um, my uh, paint, some of my paint stuff in. This is the bronze that I showed you guys that I used on the the duple color on the wheels, the lip of the wheels. Um, basically, took it over to the shop. They did a uh, they got like this little machine where they can just put the put the paint up under there and do a color match. Um, this seems a little dark, but then again, it's not mixed up or whatever the case may be. You can see the metal flake in there. You can see, you know, all that stuff in there. So um, it looks pretty good. Um, we'll see when I spray it. So, so I got that in, um, and I went. I didn't want to go all the way um, high end, so um, I didn't want to go with like PPG. So I went with a shop line. Um, and then um, I've used this brand before. This is the black um, that I've, I've used this before. This is a Wanda. Um, this is a uh, ready to spray. Since I'm gonna do the center of the rims, um, I figured I'll, I'll go with something. It doesn't have no metal flake in it. Um, I should, uh, the Impala I did, 72 Impala I did. I use this paint system and the paint came out pretty good. The clear sucks ass, but I mean it is what it is. Um, I'm not going to be using that clear on any of this stuff. Um, actually the clear that I brought should have been here, but FedEx, if you ain't here to pick it up to sign for it, it's a wrap. They ain't leaving it. Um, I brought the, um, the Wet Wet Plus for my man 10. So I'm waiting for that to come in and then I'll go ahead and finish knocking down these, um, these rims and and getting ready to get those sprays so but show you the difference in in just you know paint I mean this right here small little little pint um, with the uh, reducer over a hundred dollars like maybe like a hundred and hundred and two dollars this right here ready to spray um, still got to clear it um, thirty three dollars and thirty eight cents so that's the difference um, Again, I've had this, they, the uh, place where I got this, they just didn't have the machine to color match. So I had to go over there to get this. Um, when I spray my, my base coat, I'm going to go with a more high-end, maybe a shop line or a PPG to spray it. Um, just because I, uh, when I spray my car, um, just because I, I, I feel like I'm, if I'm going to spend the money, I might as well spend the money and do it. But I just wanted to get something that wasn't so expensive. The other thing that I was able to get my hands on came in today from Eastwood is my uh, my gun set. Um, I got a couple guns. Um, some of them, I don't know. I got some of them for primer, some of them for high build. But um, this here, I've, I've heard so much good reviews about, especially if you're not running a huge compressor. It's the uh, Contours Pro. Um, it has the smaller gun and the bigger gun. It has the one three tip, the one seven tip, the two o tip, which I'm not going to be using it for priming. I'm gonna um, use it for uh, base and clear because um, I have another one that's about a two o tip and another one that's a little bit bigger than the 2 tip um, that I'm going to be using for my priming and stuff like that. Um, I also went and brought a, a 1-4 one, one tip for my for my base. So this will be my base and then my 1-3 will be for my clear. So um, here soon once I break everything down, my rims and, and get them over and sandblasted and I'll get them all prepped out um, for, for paint and go from there. So yeah, just stay tuned. Um, once I get it all done, I shoot a nice little video, and um, I'm I'm real interested in seeing how uh, that wet wet plus um, from from man ten all candy how that's gonna look um, on the rims because I don't want to have to do any type of sanding and buffing. Um, and I just heard some really good reviews about it, so yeah, I'll do a, a review kind of a review update on the uh, painting with the uh, Contours uh, Pro as well so you can get an idea of, of uh, how it sprays if, you, if you're looking for a spray gun and you don't want to spend too much. I think 
caught this on sale for like 200 250 maybe somewhere around there so yeah we'll see we'll give it a shot and we'll go from there um i'm hoping it sprays similar or comparable to um some of my uh guns that i've had before um i've had a solder before i've had the bill the vilbis before um obviously the solder spray you know solder is a solder um the vilbis spray pretty well um and so i'm hoping that it sprays comparable um to the, the vilbis if not better um based on what i've seen in the reviews and all that other stuff so we'll see just stay tuned tube and uh i get at you